What's up, you guys? So, so many people have been worried lately about Portia's daughter, Pilar Janae. Ever since Portia posted up these Instagram stories showing that her daughter was hospitalized, you can see her daughter here in the hospital. You can see she has on a little child's hospital gown and her arm is like in a sling. So people have been worried and wondering what's going on with little Pilar and why she's hospitalized. So Portia, you know, she had posted these pictures on her Instagram story and she was kind of lighthearted with it. Like she showed her daughter putting stickers on her fingernails and she didn't exactly explain what was going on in her Instagram stories. But today she did make a post and explain exactly what is going on with her daughter, Pilar Janae, and why she's been hospitalized. She posted up a, picture, a series of pictures and videos of Pilar and in the caption she put, I want to take a moment and thank God for my daughter's continued healing after having her tonsils and adenoids removed. This is such a hard recovery for a new parent to watch, but I remain calm and trust in God. Lil PJ is so strong and she has been able to weather the ups and downs of this recovery like a little champ. I can't help to want to also pray for the many other parents of children who were at her hospital. I pray God's angels continue to watch over those babies and that they have a full recovery. Thank you to all family and friends who have texted and sent flowers. I love you and it is much appreciated. PJ is still kind of in the thick of it after a week in the hospital, but she's doing much, much better. If you have been through this surgery before, you know toddlers can be a little stubborn, but with love and encouragement, they make it through. Love you, little Pooh Bear, Pilar Janae. And you can see in one of the pictures, she shows Pilar in the bed drinking her little apple juice with her little cornrows. And she showed another picture with Pilar playing with a toy and her in the hospital bed with Pilar in this video. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I have come up with an idea that I think is going to work. Okay. It's fairly simple, okay. but it's you know yet another cost. You know how that works, I, right? Well aware. Yeah. I am really, really, really stretched on that budget. I would like to be able to give you everything. So you can see the band-aid from the IV. Remember in the first picture I showed you, her arm was like in a sling. That was part of the IV. And you can see on her hand now, you can see the band-aid from the IV. And you can see she's eating applesauce, like she's eating soft foods because she had her tonsils and her adenoids removed. Walk. How was your walk, Pee-Pee? How was your walk? How was your walk, Pee-Pee? I love my nails, PJ. I love my nails. I love it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna save me some money. You're gonna be doing mommy's nails. Okay. I love it. Thank you, they're so pretty. Thank you. The best. <laughs> and you can see in this photo, you can see Pilar with her father, Dennis, and then you can see her snuggled up with her grandmother. And I just wanna also give a little bit more information regarding the surgery that she had. The surgery she had, um, Portia mentioned that she got her tonsils removed as well as her adenoids. And adenoids are a patch of tissue that sit in the back of the nasal cavity. And like tonsils, adenoids help keep your body healthy by trapping harmful bacteria and viruses that you may breathe in or swallow. And adenoids do important work as infection fighters for babies and little kids, but they come less important and get, as kids get older and the body develops other ways to fight germs. Normally they shrink after about age five and by the teenage years, they often practically disappear, but at times they can get enlarged. And so it looks like the doctor took out her adenoids because they were either enlarged or infected. Like this says, sometimes doctors recommend removing the adenoids if medicine doesn't help or if they're making a kid sick a lot. 
This means going into the hospital and having a surgery called adenoidectomy. And sometimes tonsils and adenoids are removed at the same time, which it sounds like she also had a tonsillectomy. And also most kids are able to go home the day of the surgery. But as Portia said, you know, her daughter has been in the hospital for a week and Portia said she's in the thick of it. So I don't know if there were complications with the surgery, but in any case, I think we should definitely, for those of you who believe in the power of prayer, I think we should definitely send a prayer up for little PJ and her healing from her tonsillectomy and her adenoidectomy.